thank you for watching this video. As you can see, here we have all the interface for RhinoGo. In this tutorial, what we will show you is how to use the jewelry tab and using the head builder create uh, stats. All right. So first, double clicking on the perspective, I will go to the head studio. And as you know, in RhinoGo, we always use the same workflow. So from the first tab, as you can see here, you can just nav navigate in three different tabs. From the first tab, you can already choose one of all these elements that we have here. Just say that you want to make a stat looking like this. I double click on it. And from the moment that I double click on it, now let me change the view mode to shade. I already get, as you can see, is the same shape that I have here. I can get it into my document. Okay. So now probably what you want to do is to do some modifications just to adapt it to what you want. All right, then we go to the advanced settings. And from the advanced settings, we can start to modify anything that we want. If I click on the shift key, very important shift key, and click on one of these, I select all of them at the same time. So you reduce time doing it in this way. Now, from here, I can do anything that I want. Just, I will keep it like this. As you can see, the diameter in these two profiles is bigger than the one here. Let me change that. I go here where I can set up the three different profiles. I will unlock and I will say that I want the bottom part one millimeter as well. So now we have the same width all the way down. Okay. So I'm happy like this. I like this design. Maybe what I would like to do is play a bit with the rails. So I go to the second tab, rails, rings, rings visible. And now I will select this one and I have the control on do whatever I want here. Just in case that you want to change the profile, you click here and you can go and change the profile. And then, as you can see, it's round. But I'd rather to have the one that I had before. So I'm happy with this. From here, you can rotate it. So if I go to the right view, I can match it up with the one that I have at the top. So now from top, as you can see, this is to make it bigger or smaller. So I will make it a bit smaller. Okay, so this looks good to me. At any time, this is very important to know, you have the total freedom to do anything that you want. If you want to raise the claws, you can raise the claws from here. Just to have a bit more of room to set the stone once you have the printing. All right. If you, wanna, if you on, want to add six claws, easy. We come to this input box and we just add a couple more. So now we have six. This will look like even nicer. Okay. All right. So very important what I'm going to show you now. Maybe this is something that you are going to use later on. So this is a kind of a stat that you are going to use later on. So why don't you add it to your library? Very easily, you go to save. And we click on head demo. Okay. What happened now is that here in this library, we will have the head demo. As you can see, this is our head demo. So from now on, anytime I will have the head demo in this uh, folder. Okay. So I validate. So you can save and make your own library. Okay. What happened in if now I go to the stone with the middle button of my mouse, I click and I go to edit. What happened if instead at 0.45 carta stones, 
I wanted 0 0.6. I change, I validate, and as you can see, automatically, without doing anything, the setting adapts to the stone. All right, so this stone is linked to this setting. Okay, what I'm missing now? Now I'm missing the post. Okay, so I want to add a post here to show to my customers how this will look like. So I validate here and I will go now for the next step that is make the, the post. So to make the post and show it to my customers, I will do it in a very, very easy way. The first thing that I need to do is to create just a box where to uh, solve the the post so I will go to modeling and I will create a box so from the top view I will do something like this and like this so now I will get this box and I will click on F5 to center just in the center okay I move it from the front view just to be sure that I'm at the same level wider and a bit higher okay using the gamble the gamble is very very convenient okay let's see what do we have here still we are short let's gonna scale it till we find the right spot beautiful I like the way that it looks now so now I need just to solve the post here what we will do to create a post very easy we have the elements so you know that in the elements we have a library where you can choose anything that is already done so as you can see we have the findings so i go to the findings and look what do we have here the number 007 when i click i just say validate and straight away what the library from elements does is to bring into our document a post to do the presentation okay so we have now here a post ready to show I will just do a copy from transform I will do a copy from this point to this point enter and now what I will do with this one I will just move it if I double click on the view mode I get again the four views and I'm gonna do this because now what I can do is just turn it to make a nice presentation put it like this and now from the top view like this and I will bring it here just you know to make a nice presentation okay let's see what we have here so we have these stats and now because in Rhino 6 we have the render view mode we can make this picture as you can see I have different materials very easy we go to the materials tab here and I say I want at this part and this part I want white metal and there we go we have stats ready to show to our customers and if you want send it to print and cast Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now because you are in a trial version, please give a go. Thank you.